Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another episode within my Microsoft VDI series, um, Microsoft Cloud VDI series, should I say. Um, I'm back now doing regular content, it's been a while coming, uh, obviously whilst I was moving to Australia. I had a couple of months off doing YouTube, doing content in general, it was very quiet. Um, unless you see my TikTok, I did quite a few videos around there. But I'm back now and we're continuing with this Microsoft Cloud VDI series. And, you know, once we get through this, we've got a lot more topics I want to I want to be um, talking about. And, and, you know, we might even get back to some learning. We're going to do some book reviews as well, which you might have seen some videos as well. So without further ado, let's get started with this episode. So this is a Microsoft VDI series, as I mentioned. And um, this is part one of the planning Windows 365 sort of subtopic. Uh, so I'm going to talk about determining uh, sort of objectives when you're planning Windows 365 deployment in your in your organization. Then we're going to actually go to editing our provisioning policy. Um, we created in the last episode. Let's talk about editing and how you can do that as well. So let's talk about determining those objectives first of all. So a successful Windows 365 deployment starts with careful planning. You know, organizations use Windows 365 to provide a Windows desktop environment to their users. Uh, and if you look at the sort of goal, um, it's, you know, it's what you want to achieve really, isn't it? You know, you want to finally get it deployed and, and you might have some other sort of goal you want to achieve as well with that deployment. Um, obviously, you want users to be able to access company apps and data. You want to make sure you're in the correct, you know, from connecting from all sort of geographical locations. And you want to be able to manage those cloud PCs as well as effective as possible. So these can be like different objectives. Let's talk about objective A first of all, which was accessing apps and data. You know, you need to determine what your end users need to access from their cloud PCs. If your end users will use Windows 365 as a desktop replacement, then you might want to consider productivity apps like Office 365 or collaboration tools like Microsoft Teams. If your end users use Windows 365 to access specialized software, then make sure to consider installing sort of all line of business applications as well within that um, image. Um, a task here is to make a list of the applications that need to be used. And this list should be tailored to specific use cases as well. Uh, we talk about objective B in a bit more detail. Um, you need to determine where your end users are physically located. You know, Windows 365 um, can provide cloud PCs in multiple um, locations around the world. Um, so you can provide cloud PCs to locations with sort of low latency to, to, to your end users' uh, physical location as well. So let's uh, finish off this episode or the theory part of this episode by talking about the example Objective C that we mentioned. Um, so you know, about, that was about managing managing cloud PCs as well. So you'll manage your cloud PC devices by using Microsoft Intune Admin Center. Uh, your cloud PCs, are going to, cloud PCs are automatically going to be enrolled during that provisioning. Uh, you need to evaluate who will manage those cloud PCs and what permissions should be given to the different management groups. The task here would be to map out management groups where, which are going to perform the configuration of your cloud PC service, management of the cloud PC devices and software distribution to the devices. And then make sure you determine which Microsoft Intune and which Windows 365 permissions will be assigned to those different groups to manage those devices. So let's now jump into the demo. Um, so let's try and edit that provisioning post. Let's show how we can edit that. Um, so please join me in the demo. Okay, so here we are back in the Intune portal. Um, again, let's go to Windows 365, we're gonna go to Devices. And here we'll see, um, once it's loaded, we'll see Windows 365. And um, we've actually, we should, if we go to all cloud PCs, we should actually see this is provision. So we, we created the provision policy in the last video. Um, so that's provision, so I can, I can log into that. So we'll, we'll, I'll do a bit of a, a demo in the next episode, maybe of me actually logging in, showing you what my, what my Windows 365 personal cloud PC looks like, but let's go to provisioning policies because we want to actually edit uh, this existing policy. Um, so as we can see here, we've got these three dots where we can also delete it if we want. Um, but if we click on the actual policy here, um, so this is all the settings. We can actually go in here and we can uh, edit things here, edit the name, edit the, the description. What we can't edit is the licensing type. Can't edit licensing type. But we can edit the join type here if we want to do it to a hybrid. Uh, we can also edit the network if we want to do that. And we can edit the use of ONTRA single sign-on if we want to do that. 
Um, again, then we can just we can click on update. Let me just cancel that. And then obviously with the image as well, if we go into the image. Again, this is something that we can change if we wanted to. Um, so I want to downgrade, I want to use a, a custom image that I've created. Um, and again, to the configuration, we can also change the language. We can give it a name, a specific naming convention. We can also, if we say it later on down the line, we can configure Windows Auto Patch. We can actually change it for that as well. And then we can add scopes and tags and also the assignments as well. So there are bits as we go along, we can edit, say if we make improvements to the image or you know we, we decide we want to do more patching. Um, we can edit the, the provisioning policy to update our uh, cloud PC. So again, just another short video, just trying to get through as much content as I can. We're still going to talk about it in the next video, we're going to talk about planning. Um, so hopefully you're gaining a lot and you're learning a lot and you're enjoying this, this series. Please do drop me a comment on my videos uh, with your thoughts. Always appreciate um, productive feedback, obviously, um, which up until now I've had. So thank you for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm 23K at the moment. Um, I'll try and move up um, to, you know, the, well, through the 20s, really, up to 30. I, I've got a bit of an ambitious aim, which is around, I want to get to 50 by the end of the year. We're in January, so we've got, got, got well, February now. So we've got another 10 months, so why not? Um, so, yeah, I want to thank everyone for their support um, and just, just continue watching. Got some useful links in the description. Um, so thank you for joining me. Until next time, goodbye.